Hey, my guinea pigs. Today, we have a new specimen in the lab. So, thanks for Stefan to have sending me this. So, let's check, check this out. So it is from iCode.se and it's called an NMI adapter V2. Hmm. I know what it does. So uh, basically on the Amiga, right? Um, uh, especially the ones, actually only the ones that are uh, like 68,010 60, and, uh, and uh, up, right? Uh, you have what you call uh, a non-maskable interrupt, right? That's what NMI means. It's the um, it is the level uh, seven, like which is often called uh, uh, IAQ seven on uh, on the Amiga. So it's for the Amiga twelve hundred, um, uh, three thousand, four thousand, I, I think. Uh, so what does this thing does is basically taking like those three pins uh, that you see there. Uh, so it's IPL uh, 0, 1 and 2, right? Those are like the three interrupt lines and put them all. Uh, I don't know if it is like a straight logic or inver inverted logic, but it, it put them all to, um, to one, basically, uh, logically one. Uh, and um, so three bits, right? Uh, if you count, it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So it's uh, IAQ seven when they are all up. And uh, this um, IAQ seven, uh, interrupt seven, right? Um, cannot be, um, can, uh, can basically uh, interrupt anything, right? Nothing in software can stop this uh, non-maskable interrupt to, be, to get called. Um, and um, so what, what, is, what does it do in the machine, right? You, you have uh, an interrupt table um, at the beginning of the RAM, I think, on the, on the, on the Amiga. And that's going to pick up the, this address and, and just call it straight. And this adapter is uh, plugged on Polar, the chip Polar on, um, on uh, the, the Amiga. So, um, so you plug that on top of, the t of, of this chip, right? And it, basically shorts the, uh, the, the pins that, that triggers the IAQ, right? So let's, uh, so you need, you need a, a button there, right? So let's make first um, button, right? And, uh, and then let's write on the Amiga.
So we are in luck uh, because I am currently restoring an Amiga 1200 uh, to sell on eBay, right? I, 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 um, I restore them and resell them uh, usually. So I usually have them like a, um, like out of their cases that I retro bright and so on, right? So that's a good time to actually try this uh, little uh, little thing. Uh, so here I have um, a workbench uh, that is already installed and that works. Uh, so let's uh, let's plug it in and um, and see how it works. All right, so you just use this one, Polar, that is uh, uh, 8364. And uh, be careful that you put the uh, pin one at the correct spot, right? So you see here the, the, there is a kind of a slanted uh, uh, spot, right? You see also the top, which indicate that, that the pin one is on the top left. So you put it on top, right? And it should uh, hug uh, hug the chip uh, nicely, and then we'll we'll get our little uh, contraption that we made just before, and just uh, put that there. All right. Okay. Now um, let's put that up. All right. So we're on the workbench. I put on the. Um, on this compact flash. I put a, a program called HRTMON. So let's see, how does this work? So I plug it in. So it shows up on the, on the workbench. Uh, yeah, it's hidden, so I just have to show old files. So here it is. Um, we got a shell. So what is uh, H HRT Mon? HRT Mon is a monitor, right? You know that um, I'm quite a fan of those, like, um, you know, those freezer cartridges, right? That's exactly the same thing. This, this is a... Um, uh, uh, monitor is a generic uh, term for uh, like an NBD, the NBD, the debugger, basically. And uh, what 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 does it do? It basically, installed installs uh, like a resident program at uh, this specific address it gives you there, and then uh, redirect this uh, non-maskable interrupt seven at this to this address, right? So it's a little bit like like the. Um, uh, like the um, action uh, replay Mark III, right? You press a button and just inject something and stop the machines uh, and uh, go to the, to the program, right? So uh, let's see what what it does when we press the button. Boom! Look at this. We are we are in the monitor. I have no clue. How to use it so we'll discover that um, together okay that's gonna be it's gonna be hard so apparently you can dump memory um, I don't know maybe if I press help oh yeah here we go so yeah here you have the, the classic I guess uh, features that like like the the action replay mark 3 um, uh, video I get I said right you can um, you can set a breakpoint. Um, yeah, you can put a memory watch, exactly like, like the like the action replay. You can disassemble some some code. Right. So. Oh, you even like have like a you, you have a reaper also. Like that's exactly exactly like those uh, freezer cartridges, right? 
So, yeah, this little piece of magic can, uh, uh, can basically, uh, uh, for cheap, uh, uh, add uh, an action replay to your, uh, to your, to your Amiga 12, 1200. So, thanks again um, uh, to Stefan for sending me this uh, little device. And um, he's selling those, actually making some on, uh, on eBay. So if you if you don't want to um, uh, to uh, to have those PCB produced for you and so on and solder them yourself, you can still buy them from uh, from him straight. So I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll put uh, a link in the description below. And uh, thank you for watching. If you uh, have little things like that we can explore uh, together, like feel free to uh, to ping me and uh, send that to the channel, and uh, I'll deep dive into this. Um, as maybe as a second video, maybe I'll try to install this in uh, the ROM itself of the Amiga. Uh, apparently, th this is possible, but it looks challenging. But uh, you, you know what? I, I we can always try, right? Thank you.